Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And today, the New York Knicks have released or waived Dwayne Washington Jr. after a terrible loss, 116 to 113 last night to the Phoenix Suns. Uh, actually, a team that Washington has played for. Played for them last season with 31 games and three starts. Washington Jr. got signed to them this offseason, and they waived a player to get him on the roster. He has not played at all this season, not one game. And they're doing this to pick up one uh, a player on the and put him on the uh, it's to, it's for Jalen Martin. They want to put uh, they so they re-sign Jalen Martin, uh, gives Martin a two-way deal and waves Dwayne Washington Jr. So they Dwayne Dwayne Washington Jr. who was on a two-way contract, and they wanted to, he was on a two-way contract. They wanted to give Jalen Martin a two-way contract, so they waived Washington so they can give Martin that two-way contract. If that makes sense. So last season with the Suns, he in 2022-23 season, he played 31 games with three starts, 20, or, or that was 2021-22 season, he averaged 20 minutes per game. In last season, he averaged 13 minutes per game. Field goal percentage was 37%. He averaged eight points per game, two assists per game, and he averaged over one rebound per game. And from three, he shot 37%. And the 2021-22 season with the Pacers, 48 games, 7 starts, over 20 minutes per game. Field goal percentage was 40.5%. His three-point percentage was his three-point percentage was uh 37.7%. And from uh and then f- from his other stats, he averaged 10 points per game, two assists per game, two rebounds per game, a half a steal per game, and that was it. So he's only played a total of 79 games in his three-season NBA career. You guys you let me know your thoughts on the uh, waving of Dwayne Washington Jr. That's it for the video. If you guys enjoyed, and peace out.